Right, uh, good afternoon ladies and gents. Well, I say good morning. Uh, we've been here a little while, haven't we Dave? With uh, Dodgy Dave. <laughs> and here we see Mr Baldrick. Happily doing what Staffy do. And we're over here at the old covert spot. Sat me old hammock there. But, uh, it's fatal for me because me, me and him, he jumps in and that mate. And uh, yeah, I, I could have been a kick quite soon. A few bits. I will do. I'll, I'll tell you what, mate. Yeah, <laughs> it's the old A-frame chair. Um, yeah, just come over to the old covert spot. It's a lovely day. There was a lot of rain yesterday. There's Mr. Baldrick. <laughs> you had some skeevy snacks, didn't you? What's that, lad? What's that? What's that, Baldrick? What's that? Let's see. Uh, Dave, Dodgy Dave, come out, I haven't seen him for a while, it's nice to have a proper catch up, yeah, yeah, proper yeah. catch up mate, yeah. far far too long, I was just thought, well as it was mate, I text around every, you know, a lot of the people on this, uh, just how it happens to you on the west day, so there you go mate, yeah, had a little brew in that, and uh, gonna try me uh, lightweight lavu type tent, I forget the name of it now, I'm getting old I am, is because uh, we come over here last time it was nice Dave and uh, Shovel Ricky Paul came over kind of got a new camera trying that out but it wasn't recording to the SD card that put in it and I've still got the problem with that now ain't I yeah yeah sure no nah, I might back that and just get another one love the camera mate you know it's a brilliant camera mm. uh, it will take photos photos and put it on the SD card but it won't transfer the film stuff. yeah, yeah and it has got an internal memory because I had the SD card out and I saw some footage of us here, mm -hmm. you know, but so that just takes a little bit more work. Add a little brew. And uh, yes, yeah, so I've got a couple of things I want to want to do, but moreover, mate, just nice to have a really is nice to have a catch up. And uh, let's do a bit of chilling. Mr. Baldrick's all calmed down now. Gets well excited at here, doesn't he, mate? <laughs> Trump's in. Yeah. Trump's in like a little trooper. But yeah, no, we. It's always in that we. we some, some of the, the footage I got from last time, we was having a laugh and joke, and it was it would have made a you know good 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 viewing, I suppose, mm. if that mate especially for the crack and that mate. But then you think you get home, and you think you know about three days later when you get a chance to actually look at it or think about doing something with it, and then you realise um, it's not on a bloody SD card. But never mind. Anyway, ladies and gents, bring you back. Oh yeah, Dave. Can you just confirm what happened when I put the, I literally got the camera out? <laughs> he did. Yeah, I will say that is 100% there have been no planes. We've been here two hours, um, hour and a half, something like that. Nothing at all. Camera comes out of the bag. <laughs> he's back again. Here he comes, No, he's just... Straight over the top of us. I keep mentioning it, but yeah, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, spot on. There's Mr Baldrick. Right, ladies and gents, yeah, bring you back when I've got something to show when I might not even, you know, if there's nothing, nothing worth filming, I'm obviously not going to be filming. But the old uh, benches are holding up well, aren't they? That one's still there. Got a couple of little ideas with that, but, you know, I just, I think today's going to be more chilling than anything, right? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, take care. Well, then, ladies and gents, uh, we had a little play around with this mate with me. Mm -hmm. uh, the Alux, I think it's an Alux 4 or whatever. Um, Come up on the old trade post and uh, Mrs. Here was going on about, you know, what do you want for your, you know, your birthday, your birthday. So I've got this with the pole and the uh, extender, which costs 24 quid on its own, to join two poles together. Uh, and I've got this, this is something I was always had a mind to make myself but never got round to doing, is uh, a lightweight lavu. And uh, simplicity, simplicity is self to peg it out the back, put your pole underneath, much much rather like I do the tarpee mate, yeah, yeah. Uh, tight as you like, uh, it's like a TARDIS inside, um, it has got an inner rivet, I may put the inner up bottom, at this point I'm taking this, this will fit in the bottom pocket, well you've actually got a dyed smock on there mate, yeah, so it would fit in the bottom pocket of that mate, if that makes sense, so, yeah. and it's ever so lightweight, ladies and gents, 
and that's how I, I would have it. I've got it raised off the floor a little bit. It's only the second time I've had it up. Uh, but there again, there's my ventilation going in there and that as well. It has got, the, you know, that's a ventilation slot there and that as well. But uh, I'm proper loving that. It didn't take too long to put up at all, mate, did it? No, five minutes, ten minutes. Yeah. Um, and that's probably because it's only the second time I had up. Well, it has got on it, and I really do like it, because the last time I was over there, and I never, it never recorded to the card anyway. So, uh, whereas we put up on a ridge line. And that's because I forgot the pole. <laughs> but no, anyway, ladies and gents, that's my new little, my little secret squirrel tent. Very, very nice green. Um, Alux, very good company. I'm thinking, you know, I've got another one of their tents, and they're spoken highly of. Uh, these have been tested in some extreme conditions. I do remember Sandy being halfway up a mountain sometime, uh, and the wind was, uh, you know, mm, mm, like proper on. And uh, if I remember rightly, the other tent weren't standing, but his one was, and this is uh, the same, the same one. You know, the lightweight tent pegs and that don't weigh a great deal, mate. And it's all about having something on you at the time that will get the job done. That weighs no more than a tarp would, a military tarp. No, no so that's, that will give you. A, that's enclosed as well. Yeah, you know, it's proper enclosed, mate. Proper zip it up. It's got the door there and that as well, obviously. Don't need to zip up. But. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna pull that, pull that peg in a little bit. But yeah, so it, it can be sort of fully enclosed, and I've still got, as you can see, getting ventilation in there and in there. So that's uh, yeah, top and all. I'm, I'm proper loving that. Yeah, so that was me this year's birthday present. So two birds with one stone. I shut the missus up because at the time, yeah, it came out for 90 quid. Mike Smith had uh, one of these because it, it wasn't, it reminded me because sometimes we uh, do this little thing where if he's had a lot of uh, deliveries, his missus will clock on, but he has stuff sent to me. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, when he sees me next, he picks it up like, I've done that for a few people as it goes. <laughs> and Mrs. Titlewood, well, I know you're watching my films, I've not had nobody do it because she's a good girl, she lets me. Well, I, don't, I don't sort of go over my budget, mate, and I ain't got much of a budget as it is. <laughs> But uh, they're really, really nice. Because before we know it, mate, it'll be so, start getting darker now. Do you know when it gets dark about half five and you just think, oh, fuck it. Mm -hmm. It's not that long, so I just want to make the most of it. Yeah, no, it's still good for another month or two, isn't it? Yeah. Mr. Baldrick. Pointing dog, and he just got up there with it. He loves it though, doesn't he? I'm just surprised like. he hasn't pushed me out yet. Yeah. Mr. Baldrick. He is as it goes, mate. He just wants a bit of love and colour, doesn't he? Yeah. I feel like I've been accepted. Oh. He just takes one biscuit and he loves you, mate. He's like a proper <laughs> pikey dog he is, go with anybody, bless him. Wouldn't you, Mr. Baldrick? So I love like being in the hammock then. But yeah, just. Uh, Get another little burr on there's my old uh, yeah you want to see this a little titanium burner I got there it's nice into another little kit into all into that pot and that that's going along very very nicely and uh, obviously I consult with David my technical advisor and that used to be a uh, tuna tin make sure it's all uh, soft inside and that just goes straight over that as a softener uh, snuffer and obviously carries it it just drops straight into there. So yeah, Dave. So cheers for that, mate. It was just a little idea there, but managed to find one just the right diameter, and the actual um, the crossbars just fit down the side as well. And then that fits in there, and the actual burner goes on the top of there, making a really nice little compact uh, little compact kit there. And that's half a liter of uh, mess. It's just going along nicely. chair chair and it's been a bit of hammock time there but I don't get it back in it again because I go to sleep no, I'm well happy with that tent looks like the camouflage on it now doesn't it with the old uh, shade but yeah I'm, I may just put the uh, inner inside just to see what it looks like and that I've never been too keen on them. I always get like caught up and tangled with them and that. Yeah, lovely down the woods. 
my little seats up there. It's my first ever. And uh, that's the big log there. Mr. Baldrick. Mr. Bald of the Rick. Baldrick. Ah. Tired boy, yeah? You'll be asleep soon anyway, mate, won't you? I might, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, I think my brew's uh, coming to the boil. Right, ladies and gents, obviously, we come anywhere. aware, uh, time appreciation now, this isn't going to be a long film. But um, one thing I've come across uh, is uh, a little black pork pouch. Now, just forget it's got an axe in it. It's a long, singular pouch, probably to take a, a magazine for a submachine gun. It's black hawk. I got it for a fiver off a guy. Um, and again, it's got molly all on the back, so it'll fit to the back or outside of any rucksack. Obviously, that normally goes in my belt there. Uh, and you can put it on any belt that you want. It's totally adaptable. But initially, when I saw that, and I think I was with uh, Gary, RGJ, at the time, uh, when we was up Clisson Temple, uh, was that it will take... Let's get that. And this is... The most difficult one I've got because it's got a large pommel there. Um, literally, it's a quite a nice little pouch, but um, useless for anything else really bushcrafty. But all I did is cut the bottom off that, and I'm just going to hand sew that around a little bit, make it a little bit neater so it'll come out a little bit easier. Not that it's a problem, but it wouldn't really matter because that now is going to be my self contained axe pouch. It will take any axe I've got, and again, see that's got a velcro closure, which is quite nice. Because the last thing you want to be doing is walking along with an axe, even if it's got the sheath on it and that type of stuff. You can carry it in on your Bergen, on the outside. Uh, it's not really causing too much offence and that. And then you can take that off when you're walking about and actually just attach it to your belt. Just go down that molly strap and there's the belt strap there. Hopefully that's showing up. But also, when you're talking about axe head-wise, because it's got this clip on it and that as well, you've got a huge amount of semi fingers coming through there. You know, um huge amount of uh, movement there or variation it's cracking a little bit of kit it's not going anywhere as I say you can molly it, molly it to the outside of your pack horizontally vertically um, it will attach to any sort of civil or military pack it's green and it is black hawk uh, so the guy wouldn't haggle down uh, but I bought a few bits and I've got this for a fiver so a fiver for what I think is a cracking little uh, carrying system for whichever axe and it is quite universal like I say it's got this amount of uh, adjustment on it when you've got that to there I uh, just think you know let your eyes be your guide you can see them they're sort of worth the money and I've uh, just cut the bottom off sort of just got a light on I just need to sew that round a little bit which is something I could do while I'm sitting there watching YouTube films but ladies and gents yeah let your eyes be your guide that's just the uh, I've upgraded that little axe for a fiver and a fiver is not a lot of money Dave is it it's not even two cost of coffees really I had a shot £2.70 for a filter coffee take away right. I nearly made a poo <laughs> serious it's just wrong you didn't even get like any of them sprinkles or anything on the top it was just filter coffee which is what I like mm. and a drop of semi skimmed so I was like sorry two seventy. wrong very wrong so ladies and gents yes yeah, sorry I'm digressing there uh, yeah the old little black hawk uh, magazine pouch there it's, um, you know uh, I do like to think I see things are inventive uh, I'm quite chuffed with that and that's now going to take any axe that I want uh, and it'll do the job carry it in and out of my Bergen as I said and obviously there's your uh, once you put it through that one there that's so you can attach it to any belt you've got universal it'll work kiss keep it simple keep it stupid right ladies and gents uh, just want to show you this uh, latest acquisition came to me by way of a, a dibble with David Fares but what we see is it here and uh I think I've got the big bottle somewhere. Um, it is a uh, obviously a fire grill. It's made out of high grade steels. It's all properly welded. Really, really strong. On the other video, um, hopefully I'll, I'll be able to show that another time when I work out how to get it off the other camera. But I actually just stood on that and it took my weight and I is a fat bloke. But um, David Fair's uh, brother is uh, now making these uh, all individually and they're all handmade. Uh, kiss, keep it simple, keep it stupid. Fire. Which I'm, I'm not going to start a fire in the woods just to show you this. Um, but that's your grill and that sort of stuff. Dave, you want to just give us that yes. pot, mate? Yeah, so I meant to bring it over. Uh, just for scale side, that's a clean canteen, the big one, um, the two litre one. Uh, you know, you've got two pot, 
pots on there you can be doing two two lots of gear on there at one time uh, and it's just simplicity itself it's actually strong as um, strong as you like I say I've actually stood on this one um, and uh, ladies and gents uh, I'll drop a link in in case you want one of these oh hello Mr Baldrick Mr Baldrick Mr Baldrick Mr. Baldrick um, but I'll drop a link in so if anybody wants one of these uh, you can get one and like I say there's nothing like having something that's a bit handmade um, for what it is mate I think you've had a look at it Dave yeah and uh, it's uh, pretty robust and it's not that um, heavy for what it is no well, again as you know I'm not going to because this don't come with it but the, you know the pouch and all that and uh, I'm going to slip on the back of your bergen inside of your bergen but you know it's just a one stop completely lightweight and I think it just got the weight right as I said today with the weight and the size right to make it portable uh, robust it will last longer than me and uh, you know when there's one or two here you don't need any more of that on uh, on a fire I know you can do your A-frames and you know your woods and oh, you want to down bacon and sausages burgers stuff like that wouldn't it yeah yeah and then literally it's rolled up uh, about that sort of wide I'm not going to you know pouches or something I've made for it uh, but uh, ladies and gents I'll, I'll drop the link into it because uh, people are always asking well I always get a lot of uh, questions like, oh where can I get one where can I get one so I'll just drop that in there for you uh, no skin off my nose no kickback for me sadly hint hint <laughs> <laughs> no but just a, a cracking little bit of kit there ladies and gents and it's kiss keep it simple keep it stupid uh, Marty Cuff's got another one again he, well you know with Marty Cuff he always modifies things and that as well but no I think that's the, the dogs are what's it and uh, it's going to outlast me and the weight of it is because if you get the ones you know that there's the thinner ones mate and they've, mm -hmm. they've been coated yeah. they last for a bit they're a little bit lighter but then you end up buying two or three of them and they're, they're, they're like 15 quid off Amazon and that I recently made a, yeah. a patch for a guy a really nice guy Des um, but yeah that's exactly the same it's not like anything to do with rocket science it's kiss keep it simple keep it stupid and it will work and just for scale size, there's my hand, or there's a, there's a two litre pot on that, ladies and gents. But yeah, um, I'm quite happy to have uh, managed to get one of these. I think this is the second or third one he's made, but he's, he's going to be flogging them. I'll drop a link in. If anybody's got an interest, please just uh, let your eyes be your guide. Don't buy nothing just because I'm happy with some of it. But have a look and uh, let your eyes be your guide, ladies and gents. Right, I think another room, mate. Right, ladies and gents, Mr. Baldrick there, and uh, Dave or Dodgy Dave, I don't know. But good to see you mate i tell you what okay. there's not much for him and i don't even know if i can upload this because i don't know what i've got on there mate um but it's, we've just had a, a a a day getting to know it well catching up and stuff mate yeah, which is it. all good all good really bought mr baldrick said a lot of hammock time haven't you yes <laughs> and uh yeah we're just packing up now but yeah just nice to get out we've had a very chill day and caught up there mate um yeah down in woods well, it's good for the soul i haven't really a little play with my tent and a couple of bits some of it i didn't even film but yeah just but yeah appreciate uh, you coming over mate no, thank you very much uh, and uh, i'll just keep texting and whoever can turn up can turn up because it's normally weekdays that i'm getting off now but that's that's cool so, but, good so it's good goodbye from baldrick and Bye. goodbye from david <laughs> yeah uh, finish that brew and then i'm gonna get home take care ladies and gents